hello there i am taylor and you are listening to the surviving maine podcast you might be watching the surviving maine podcast on youtube because we have video this season very exciting we have video for all but one of the podcast next week's deep dive interview we don't have video for so you can be sure and subscribe to the surviving main podcast on spotify or apple Podcasts, so that you can be sure and listen to that one more easily it will be on youtube but it's a little harder to listen without video on youtube so today we are talking to the player voted out in episode five of Surviving Maine season three. Uh, so if you haven't watched episode five yet, you should probably do that now because I'm about to tell you who was voted off. And that is John. So here is my interview with John. John! <laughs> Hi, Taylor. Hi. It's so good to see you. Good to see you as well. Long time. Yes. It's been weeks and weeks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, John, let's see. I have notes and um you're gonna walk us through your surviving main experience. Yes. You may or may not need my notes, but uh yeah, so let's start. Okay, first of all, how are you? Joyous. <laughs> joyous. Yeah, John has um, a big it, bottle of whiskey. Is that whiskey? It is. It's like a <laughs> nice 42-year-old bottle of whiskey. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but that's smooth. Oh, well, strong but smooth, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, it's been a long day of teaching, so. <laughs> and it's Monday. We're recording this on a Monday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kids are always a lot more rampant after that, <laughs> that wonderful weekend. Yeah. Oh, do you, but you get a, you get a three day weekend coming up. Veterans this day. is true. This is true. I guess but, not all schools do, but you do. That's good. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't realize, you know, some schools don't give off for Veterans Day. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. 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 Yes. So, On track. <laughs> John, you had the very first big moment yes of surviving me this season yes i did before we get to it though is there anything you want to talk about like how did you find out about surviving me why did you apply etc cetera, etc cetera? i think i found it randomly through twitter of all things wow. like i barely even use twitter yeah and then i just like saw it i mean i had never done a live game before um one of my friends uh from the online community um, has done had done a couple live games and I was like you know what? I want to try that I've been doing the whole online thing it's like I want to get out into the wilderness and try this mm -hmm. and see how I can do mm -hmm. um, and it was quite the eye-opening experience I mean even just from like just walking up and just like from the initial moment where like we were sequestered pretty much i couldn't help but just like be giddy like it's like this is about to happen we're about to play the game we're it's like we're ready to go and like walking up the hill with that first group of people mm -hmm. um with myself justin kaya and steph like we were like having a blast just like talking just going up the hill um like i could tell that this was going to be like a fun group of people to be with and it was um I mean, we had no, I mean, I had no idea what I was walking into because, I mean, I purposely had not watched any of season, uh, any of the previous stuff. What? On purpose? purposely, I purposely did that because. Explain this. I, I purposely did not want to have any false expectations going in. It's like, I need to look at this with a clean slate. It's like, if I if I knew where idols were previously, it's like, I know that things are going to be different. I want to be able to go in with a complete open mindset. I want to try and come up with whatever strategies that I can in terms of challenges. Um, and it was, and it was kind of, I, I've definitely gone back now and watched the previous stuff. Okay. And it's like, it's, it's interesting comparing what I went through versus what previous season did. I mean, I can see some of the similarities, 
but I mean, we we built that camp from scratch once we finally got to that point. Um, and we were pretty much completely right out in the open, um, which made building that shelter um, a lot more of a pain in the ass. And it made it even more joyous when we when we uh, won that competition, too. But yeah. The uh, camp building competition yeah. that is not in the episode. <laughs> I figured as much, but I'm sure that'll not the competition itself, but the whole camp bonding experience as we yeah. make that camp. Yes. Uh, a lot happened that first day. So yeah. much. Yeah. Um, so, okay. I, I, I'm just curious. Oh my God. Sorry. I have a kitten jumping all over. No things. worries. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, what did you see that was different or similar from the last season to your season? I mean, it, based upon where we were, things were, it th seemed like things had shifted in the area. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed seemed like things were a lot more wide open in terms of, they weren't like, we had one camp that was completely in the woods, one camp that was completely wide out in the open. And it seemed like they had stuff that was a little bit more of like the mix of the two, pretty much. Um, just from my initial viewing anyway. Um, it also seemed like, well, granted, they had a lot more of the haphazard tribes, whereas we had everything was back and forth. Like yeah. there, there was no like purely dominant tribe compared to the other. Um, it was like every other uh, challenge was won by the opponent. Yeah. Right. which was which was awesome to see it was. It was frustrating from yeah. <laughs> as a player um and, and each competition was close too i mean mm -hmm. there was barely any blowouts in terms of competitions mm -hmm. um which that made it even more exciting too i mean i think the only blowouts were, and we will get onto this later would be the the tribe endurance and then even after I had gotten out the uh, the landing the ball on the ledge, yes, um, that's episode six, and you're out in episode five. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, that uh, was a blowout. Yeah, and yeah. you're right. the 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 um the endurance challenge was the first one that it, they it was like they lasted twice as long, which was ridiculous because they're literally <laughs> moving around the field, still holding the ball yeah. against their paddles. I'm like, how are y'all doing this? It's like. <laughs> you should this physically should not be like happening like you are defying physics by doing this right now like I'm, will is like bending over backwards and matt's like going right with them it's like okay we're just going for a dance now apparently <laughs> they were dancing. and here and here i am just sitting there and it's like well i'm going to tribal I got to try and figure out something. I got to let Steph run her mouth and maybe try and get something going but <laughs> So let's oh. go back before we yes, get back to back way back. That's it. That's an exciting your boot episode, John, is an exciting okay. episode. But okay. <laughs> so you uh you get to your flag day yep. one. You're the first group there, and you notice something as you're looking through your bag, and then you're like, I'm looking through my bag. This is a perfect opportunity to do something here. <laughs> do you want to yes. run? Because I noticed there? right on the flag on the back of the flag that's packaged and stuck out. I'm like, this isn't part of the flag. <laughs> and so I'm I'm watching, I'm making sure, I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, how can I legit grab this with nobody else paying attention? Well, one of the things that I'd been allowed to bring was my allergy meds. <laughs> so, and I heard Steph talking about, well, hey, I've got, I've got allergies too, or a little stuffy. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, I've got some if you'd like some. <laughs> so I offered that up. And at the same time that I brought my bag up, I grabbed it and stuffed it in and I handed it off and pulled, pulled a nice little switcheroo and nobody saw me do it. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I honestly can't wait to see if see that happen out on footage. Um, if that <laughs> managed to get on there. Oh yeah, but, we got it. Yep. <laughs> but, but I mean, literally, I had Justin fooled of all people. Uh, and he was Justin, in the bathroom. He was in the bathroom. He was in the bathroom, but he, even way afterwards, he didn't believe that I had it. I know. 
he was shocked when he found out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was, I mean, I didn't even get to open it right away. Like, I mean, I, I had my first confession. I'm sitting there. I'm like, I have a package in my bag. I have no clue what it is. Yeah. It's like, and I finally, once we're like starting to build the camp, I finally like got away for half a second and got to read the note. And at that point, actually, when I had opened up the little package, the idol had actually dropped from the package into my bag. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I actually didn't even see the idol itself for quite a while after that. All I saw was the message. Uh, so question because th this unfortunately didn't make the episode but there's a point where you guys get to your camp yeah. um uh, and it didn't make the episode because I couldn't make anything interesting out of it <clears throat> I tried and it was like it was, nothing was happening so uh you're at your camp you're like starting to build your camp and Stephanie you and Matt and maybe maybe somebody else maybe Caitlin are walking around the bags and, and Steph's like I want to look through people's bags and you're like yeah you should totally do that <laughs> <laughs> what was going through your head had you had you taken it out at that point did had you seen I mean it? I had it wrapped and like tucked inside like things but like I, I I just like I had like one eye on my bag at all times pretty much I mean I literally had it under my head when we got when we slept that night and I'm sure there I cannot wait to hear the confessionals about um <laughs> um my snoring um it, it, you're, yeah it, i'm glad you have a sense of humor about it because it's quite there's quite <laughs> i mean i mean literally when we're going we're just sitting around the the non-existent campfire that night um and we're talking people are talking about oh, it's like i think we've got matt and somebody else is saying guys just let you know i snore I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I was like, you're in for a big surprise, motherfuckers. <laughs> and I mean, it's, I mean, I have horrible like allergies and stuff like that. And I just get clogged up like nothing. And I'm like a freight train sometimes. Um, <laughs> um, freight train, but, the lumberjack of Maine, someone called you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Look, the episode title actually. Oh my gosh. I mean, literally when they when we swap and Caitlin tells me afterwards that <laughs> that's what she used as an excuse, like to try and vote me out. It's like, well, John snores. So if you want don't want him around, you gotta vote him out so that you don't have to deal with the snoring. So I think Caitlin was the most disturbed by her snoring because she couldn't sleep and she was so mad about it. Uh, Stephanie <laughs> also used it against you in her pitch. Yes, she did. <laughs> and she apologized afterwards too. But I'm like, it's all good. I understand. But if I mean, if that's the only thing that people are going to use against right. me, yeah. it's like, I can live with that. Yeah. <laughs> It's not like I'm a bad person or they're saying that I'm a threat that I need to take that they need to take out right away. It's John Snores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, which I mean it's hilarious because I mean that's how I went out is I went out literally right before nighttime. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was right before bed for everybody. Yeah. Um so they gosh, the other tribe didn't even get to experience it. It's so no. sad. No, they had to deal with Steph. I, I'm. I want to know how Steph was once we get back. Once they got back to camp, um, and I can't wait to see how that plays out afterwards. Because I mean, I know Steph had com been complaining the whole time about Will using up all the rice and everything yeah. like that. That goes um, on. <laughs> that yeah. goes on longer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could have dealt with that, but and then yeah. <laughs> Oh. So, so okay um you your tribe kind of lucks out you kind of luck out and you're gonna find this out but you were a name that was thrown out kind of early and then larry gets medevaced instead and then kaya right. had been saying yeah she wanted to go so yeah. um do you did you know that you were might have been in danger I didn't realize I had been in that much of danger, which was interesting to hear because I thought I was a good asset for right. the tribe. Um, so to hear that, like, they wanted to get rid of me right away kind of surprised me. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, I heard it was from what I heard afterwards, it was a mixed, mixed bag. Like I had some people that wanted me, some people that wanted me out. 
Um, I mean, and I will say to my own detriment, um, with it being my first game, doing game talk didn't come as naturally as I wanted it to. Because when when I'm playing like the online games, like I can just be, I'm the big entertainer. Like I've got big, crazy energy and I let my nerves get the best of me in terms of this. Like I didn't know like how much to let out Hmm. like right away. I didn't want to be a target just for being like the ball of laughter pretty much for everybody. So Uh, you had competition there, right? Like you had big personalities on your tribe. So uh, yeah, I wonder if that would have helped you or hindered you if you had been more out. Yeah. Because, I mean, we had that initial connection between our first four that walked up and we were good. I mean, and then, I mean, Kaya kept saying, oh, you got once we lose, you guys can vote me out. And I kept thinking, I'm like, really? I mean, then I understood afterwards that Kaya's situation. Right. um, And I I took it with stride because I even asked Kaya before we we voted. I was like, do you really want to go? I mean, because I considered at one point legit playing the idol on Kaya. Really? Um, oh, I wish you had. <laughs> but Kaya said, I'm good. But Kaya wanted to stay. But it was so it was so up in the air. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it would have been interesting because she put down Mary Ellen's name. Yeah. And if Mary Ellen went at that point. That changes the game a that, lot. That changes the game a lot. <laughs> Granted, you know, um that whole swap like that you want to talk about bad luck i mean (laughs) (laughs) i mean i was doomed from the second i walked onto that swap tribe um because those four were tight as can be so i mean there was i mean literally i tried like just talking to them it's like it's like let me know what i can do it's like i can be an asset for you guys we got three really strong guys over there the three-headed dragon yes I, i kept calling it that Yes. And it's like, you want to take them out, use me. It's like, I will be there for you guys. But they wanted none of that. And yeah. I mean, I, I can't wait to hear exactly, I mean, why they wanted to take me out right away. Was it because of my threat level of puzzles or just because I mean, because we hadn't even had the first night? I mean, I'm assuming at that point. So, no, you hadn't. Yeah. It, it was kind so, of, it was just. I'm going to, you're going to see it in the episode, but yeah. whatever, I'll just tell yeah. you it was, uh, so Steph, Matt, Caitlin, and Larry go off in the woods and they're like, what are we going to do? Larry says, Justin, Steph's like, uh, let's get real. We need to win challenges, get real. We're not voting out Justin. And yeah. she was in the group with you and, uh, Kaya and blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is before Kai is making it apparent that she wants to go home. Yeah. And Larry says, okay, John, John's not at the same level as the rest of us. And I don't know what he meant by that. It's just, and so oh. they all in the group are just like, okay, Matt's really on board with it. Stephanie's just like, I don't know. Okay. All right. And so it's like the tentative plan is John for no reason. And then it's <laughs> funny because it's funny. And, and all this is in the episodes. Cause then it's either maybe two or three where the episode number where Steph has a confessional where she says, I don't know why we were going to vote John. I don't know why John was a target, but after last night and the way he snores now, I know why. <laughs> so, oh. so there was no reason. Oh, that's uh, hilarious. I, I mean, that's great. <laughs> I think that from what other people had been saying, the after that point it's your puzzle threat because you're doing those puzzles in like 60 seconds that are taking other people away way way longer how yeah. can you talk about how do you practice like what's your secret? i love i mean that's i mean that's one of my strengths in games is puzzles and just mental thing games like that mm-hmm. um i like to try and take the step back so that's where if you notice when we have the reward challenge for the fruit basket and you pair justin and myself up on the puzzle ladder Yes. We actually butt heads a couple times because <laughs> we have two different strategies in doing this. Mm-hmm. It, like I reset at one point the pieces we have left. And Justin's like, what are you doing? I'm like, Justin, we need to like re like look at what we have here. And then look, literally, it took one of like me banging in one of the pieces mm-hmm. um because it was that tight of a squeeze. Um 
But I mean, we still managed to come out with a decent sized lead going into um, the gun firing there. Yeah. Um, you had a very big lead going into that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's all I do is I know I need to take my time, take a deep breath. Cause I mean, even from the very first challenge in which it was just a matching, I had a deficit. Like I was down going into, it was yes. me against, it was me against Sam mm-hmm. in the matching and then doing the, the lock. Yeah. And I realized as soon as I have this, the combo through the three numbers, I know it's six possible different combinations for each one. I just need to take my time, not get frustrated with it. And then as soon as I had one and they're still fiddling with it, I'm like, okay, I got this. I flip, I get the final one going and and I get the stuff over to Justin and I'm like, Justin can throw bags. So yeah. <laughs> I guess it helps if you're a professional cornhole player. <laughs> I mean, I've watched him do it another in another game to get back yeah. into a game. So Oh, okay. Was that um Real foot. It's not survival challenge. That's the that was real foot. Oh, real foot. Okay, yeah. Yep. Uh, did he win that one? Yeah, because that was the game that my friend had played actually. Oh, so I cool. saw, I actually saw Justin in that game, and it's like I know Justin is a threat, but if I attach myself to Justin, and I did, and so that's where Justin didn't want to get rid of me. So that's true. Justin was very attached to not. He he kept pushing to vote out Caitlin when anyone would yeah. bring your name up to him. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's literally what I want to do is like if I could take the number one person and make him not want to get rid of me, I'm going to be a little bit safer. Yeah. Um, so, so you had a conversation with Justin about um, you. You just told him that you knew he had played before. I mean, I, it's like I knew. I mean, I straight up told him I knew one of his friends that he had okay. played with before. And I wanted him to try and put those two pieces together, whether <laughs> he ended up doing that or not. I think he did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. And I mean, we uh, with a lot of us trying to make that fire, it, I think if maybe I had gotten those sparks going or if we had any of one of us had gotten those sparks, maybe we would have had a little bit be- different of a campsite scenario Mm -hmm. um that night um because having no fire going into that first night was definitely difficult um we came so close apparently um to actually getting something going um because we were told afterwards like yeah you guys actually had the right strategy you just took too long to get to it so you're all pooped out by the time that you finally got to them like okay well that's great to know (laughs) but I mean, by going, I mean, going way back to the beginning. Yeah. Like I, so I had that first idol. I realized I saw the other idol over there and I kept trying to like look out in the corner of my eye to see who's around that idol. And pretty much it was well known because he made it public. <laughs> I, I mean, I should have used that maybe as a, as a tool to maybe try and help me, but I don't think even that would have helped me. Because Steph even tried it and it didn't work. Yeah. Um. That the fact that Andy had the idol and do you, uh do you think so? Did uh you saw him grab it too? Oh, you didn't? I didn't see him grab it, but I literally saw him flaunt it. Okay, uh, <laughs> you saw him that. yeah. That's the one we didn't get on camera. It's very upsetting to me because uh, it took their second group of people up there. Like all yeah. eight of them yeah. were yeah. up there we're before up the there. before yeah <laughs> before the idol was taken. I mean, luckily I grabbed the idol before our second four came up. You got um, it before even the Grays had come. You're right. Up. I did. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, um, yeah. So let's say. So, so you knew that Andy had told his entire tribe that he had it. What yeah. do you think you could have done? Because the way Stephanie was trying to play that was like, you know, do other people know? Like, we could do something. And he was like, no, everybody knows. Like, there's nothing yeah, I mean, you can do about that. Everybody no, knows. I mean, I maybe could have said, um, and I doubt this would have worked. It's like, you want to keep, make, really keep that idol in this game and let him just keep going with the idol? Or do you want to take this idol out of the game? and make to it a lot more of a free game for them to, to, get, to get andy out try and blindside andy but um they were I mean, so again, tight. That, that wouldn't have worked <clears throat> they were so tight yeah i um i wish that <laughs> it would have been more interesting. <clears throat> i mean the fact that they stayed together like that i just yeah it didn't make sense for one of them it made perfect sense for three of them 
Yeah. I mean, but, when I when I said at that travel that I went that they said, I can't remember that. I'm sorry. It's one of the two of you going that we're sticking together. It had been said by Andy. I mean, it, I mean, exactly. yeah. when Mike called, like said, like, who said that? At that point, I'm like, <laughs> really, dude? So annoying. That was so annoying. <laughs> oh, that's right. And even, even Jess was like rolling her eyes. Like, <laughs> yeah, we it's said like, it. it's obvious. Exactly. It's like, it is what it is. Accept it. It's like, I mean, that's why I put Mike down again. It's because like, it's like, dude, who would shut the fuck up? <laughs> Oh, Mouthy Mike. Oh my gosh. But granted, I, I mean, granted, him. Stephanie also, Stephanie pulled one over on me uh, thinking that she was just going to try and just put the name on me. It's like, I, I told her, it's like, Steph, I'm not going to put your name down. If we want a chance to survive one for the both of us, we need to try and get a move going to get one of them out. We need to have a three, two, one maybe going here. And me not realizing that Andy actually had the extra vote. That was the one thing I didn't know that they had. Yes. Uh, nobody knew that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, d- but so did Stephanie tell you like everything that had happened and why she ended up voting for you? Afterwards. Afterwards yeah. she did, yeah. yeah. Um, Because it does make sense. It's just... Yeah. And it's like Steph, like she she apologized <laughs> like five times to me. I'm like, Steph, I understand. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it game. stunk too that like she went up right before me mm-hmm. and found the idol right yeah. before me. Yeah. Because, I mean, I was looking all the time, every time I went up into the booth. And, yeah, I mean, there was a decent shot, the chance that I would have found that. But. Uh, I don't remember if I left this in the episode or not, but she she voted first, first of all. And that sucks. Because yeah. she yeah. could have changed something. I mean, but then there would have been a tie and then you probably would have gone anyway. But so whatever. But yeah. she she was like asking if she could leave her fake idol there for you because she was like, John's coming up next. John's coming up next. Can I leave this here? And then she like talks herself out of it. Like, this will do nothing. It's a fake idol. <laughs> I know. I mean, ha- I mean, Steph and I had been talking. She's like, I maybe have a plan going with Dan and maybe a plan going with Mike. Yeah. Because I knew Steph you want to talk about mike being a motor mouth steph was truly the motor mouth (laughs) it's like i need it's like i need to let steph do the talking it's like one if they if she pisses them off enough they're just going to vote steph yeah two if she can actually work some magic we can work get try and get something going here because i already tried once when i was with caitlin and failed Mm -hmm. horribly so trying again what's even the point because they're like well once we got back to camp you were like you were so quiet it's like well, I already tried it once and you guys wouldn't listen to me. So why am I even going to like, it was so deflating once we had mm-hmm. lost that. Like, mm-hmm. plus we're coming back to no fire. We are coming back dead as a doornail, soaking wet, like knowing somebody was going and knowing it was probably going to be me or Steph. Yeah. Um, it, it's like, you guys want me to be like happy-go-lucky at that point? It's like, it's kind of tough to do that mm-hmm. when... Like, you guys won't even give me really the time of day. Because, I mean, I'd heard multiple things, too, um, in regards to how the first vote would have gone when it was Caitlin and I. Um, I had heard one version that had it tied that Caitlin would have gone. But I've also heard, on the other hand, that it had it tied that I would have gone. From from the confessionals, that's all I can go on. It would have been you that had gone. Okay. Because two people, more people wanted you gone than Caitlin. Yeah, Um, because, I mean, at that point, they had definitely seen that I was the bigger threat um, puzzle-wise over Caitlin. Um, I I mean, I hadn't really gotten to do much in terms of physical challenges at that point because pretty much every time we had a challenge i got placed at puzzle station right um but even when there was some physical stuff you were right in there with everybody else oh yeah i mean my pride and joy is actually beating will in (laughs) the the balance beam cargo net and grappling hook. i'm like (laughs) i beat the motherfucker (laughs) that's like everybody thinks is like the top dog like we had the lead and then (laughs) Dan and Andy just couldn't land the bags. Mm-hmm. I yep. mean, had that gone a different way and we survived that challenge, who knows what 
the future holds at that point. Because right. then, because then I may I make day two or day three at that point. Because you have your idol to at least. Because I still have my idol, idol at that point. Yeah, but um, yeah, I want to go back to um, because you, you you're not going to get that much airtime on your boot episode because the confessional. Yeah, the the confet you you um you never explain in your confessional, uh your ta- your strategy of what what you're doing there because you're yeah. not saying much at all. You're not campaigning. Other people are saying, "What's up with John? Why?" Is I want. I kind of wanted to also make them think that I had something else in my pocket too. Yeah. So talk about that because I think you, your strategy was the best strategy you could have used at that point stephanie yeah. talking was just getting herself in trouble because everyone was like she's a huge social threat exactly they wanted her out so yeah it's like one i mean one like i said i was deflated especially after losing back-to-back challenges because i hate losing um and two watching them continue to go for another 40 minutes after i had already been knocked out of the challenge and i'm just sitting there i'm knowing that they're gonna have pasta now on top of this and that we're gonna have to go to tribal it's like why are we still here wait watching them do this i mean right that was literally almost a that was almost a slap in the face like watch them literally you guys are on the same tribe and you're just still going at it like this Mm -hmm. for another 40 minutes yeah yeah (laughs) yeah I mean, that was, that was weird that they did it like that, but, and then we get back and I mean, we're still, cause we had had the downpour that afternoon. So we're all soaking wet. We're miserable. Um, I mean, I tried to talk a little bit to some of them, but I mean, like I had said, it, we had just come off of the big scramble and Dan had been up front with me and pretty much said, we're all going to stick together. Mm-hmm. And it's like, Okay, so then I talked to Dan again a little bit, and, I, and he's like, "I think it's going to be the same thing." And it's like, well, "Is there any possible way that we can get something going?" And then Steph's like, "Well, I have an idea." And it's like, "Okay, I'll let you do it, Steph. You go run with it." So Steph's like, "Okay," and she had told me on the way to tribal, if I mention this bug or this something, yeah, yes. <laughs> it'll be this person. And if it's the other thing, it's going to be Mike. Mm-hmm. It's, going to, it's going to be either Mike or yeah, Dan Mike. that we're going to write down. And she made it sound as if it was going to be Mike. Because, um, I mean, if we had pulled off a 3-2-1, that would have been cool. But they, they wanted no part of that. Yeah. I mean, I had to literally try and seem as down in the dumps as possible. Because, I mean, from what I had heard from some people, like, oh, yeah, we knew you had an idol. It's like, how? Yeah. How did you guys know I had an idol? It's like, you're full of shit. No. <laughs> they were full of shit. I mean, I had to try not to laugh when I played my idol because all of a sudden I hear Kaya gasp in the background. Because <laughs> <laughs> even half of my tribe still didn't realize I actually had the idol. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, most of them didn't. And Matt put it together and he had he had been telling people, he had been telling Stephanie and Caitlin. And that's when Caitlin yeah. came up to you and she's like, do you have the idol? And you're yeah. like, what, why would I have the idol? And then you're like, I have the idol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, brutal to just have to like use it right away like that. Yeah. And then be put right in back into that situation it's like well i just used that i mean i kept looking everywhere but it, it was already gone at the booth by the time i got up there again so yeah that was that was one of the things that like i was definitely good at and people didn't realize that i was doing is i was always being vigilant because mm-hmm. one person or no, one person one one thing that i didn't tell anybody about is that one my one job that i've had for the past 20 years has been a lifeguard and what are you really? doing? All oh, yeah. I'm, I, so, I mean, one of the things that I kind of was a little upset about was that there was no water challenges yeah. or anything. So, like, damn it. <laughs> but lifeguard, you're always just watching people. Mm. And you're always just making, looking for anything that could cause danger to any sort of situation. So that's always what I'm doing is out of the corner of my eye. I'm always watching to see for changes in anything. Um, so, I mean, that's, I could tell like by some people's body motion, like body language, like what was going on Mm -hmm. and whatnot, but 
um, I could tell like who was going to be like the energetic people who was going to be, I mean, it was, it's interesting that Larry got into that group. Cause I, I figured I didn't see Larry as one of the stronger people, um, in, in the group either. So, I mean, Larry going down definitely helped me out in the long run, but yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I mean, it would have been interesting too, to see had we taken out Kaya mm -hmm. because she wanted to go. And I'm sure if I had heard my name around by the time when, when we went to the second tribal there, um, that I would have played my idol and I don't know who I would have sent home in the minority at that point. So that, I mean, Larry going home really changes up the game complete. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Cause you would have been in danger. I think Justin would have fought for you. He probably would have told, well, what do you have told you? He would have let me know anyway, that my name's on the chopping block anyway. Um, cause he would want you to vote with him. Yeah, exactly. Cause you probably would have tried to see if I had anything. I think, the, I think Stephanie would have stuck with, with you too, as well, probably. Cause I mean, point. the funnier part was Caitlin hadn't realized she actually knew me before. Like she didn't realize until literally we were laying down in the camp, like, and then she goes, does your last name start with F? I'm like, yes, yes, Caitlin, yes, it does. She goes, I know you. I'm like, that's not what I want to hear you say in front of everybody right now. That's so funny. <laughs> Did you know her? Did you recognize her? I recognize her from the online community. <laughs> and, but it's not something you shout out in front of everybody. No, <laughs> I know you. <laughs> like, <"Love it." laughs> oh, but. And then that's when we started to click at that point. Okay. Uh, granted, of course, then we had, of course, the whole mishap of sleeping. Um, <laughs> I don't know that she ever wanted to vote you out, though. No, I mean, I mean she, yeah. <laughs> Caitlin, I mean, Caitlin and I stuck together. Like, we, there was no way either one of us was putting each other's name down yeah. um, on that swap tribe. Mm hmm and she was even more angry than i was yeah um, <laughs> I hate swaps. you just get fucked oh and especially since both captains ended up on the tribe with the majority mm -hmm. it's like wow because mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean had we started to like had on um, the stupid ball game there had we gotten a better strategy going out of the gate yeah, yeah and we sent them we would have had the majority going in yeah. to the swap so who knows what, I'm, what exactly because i mean we lost three to two so i mean it wasn't as if that was a blowout either right. um because i mean yeah i mean everybody was still baffled about the whole the second immunity challenge in which we had the fifth puzzle yeah um <laughs> yeah and i was like guys i think i've seen this before i think i, I think i can do it Okay, you so you had seen it before. That's I literally like, so I watch well, I I watch um I've seen it on Survivor, but then I oh. watched um Peridium um videos. Yeah. And they talked about uh hacks of beating the challenges that people had done before on the show. And one of them was that puzzle. What up? So literally I had seen that. So I was like, okay, I know the basic strategy of this. Uh -huh. So, and I followed that basic strategy. So no, I'm going to keep, it's going to be opposite head to tail the yeah, whole entire imagine. way and constantly be looking for those interlocking, those type of shapes. Mm -hmm. And that's where like, it almost like came together. Like it was nothing pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wow. Um, oh, what, what season was that on? Do you know? I can't remember. I want to say they had it on Kagayan at one point, but I wow. very easily could be wrong. Wow. Um, yeah, it was either on Kagayan or Second Chance. As, good as I seem to remember, ooh, I seem to remember uh, Tasha being part of it at one point. Okay. But, but I could be wrong. Um, it was quite a few years ago now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. It pays to be a super fan who watches Peridium videos, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I mean, I mean, I love the challenges. And then the puzzles is what it always comes down to. So, yeah. and it was interesting because when we go back to the very first challenge, I was actually going to be on the spool. 
really? I wasn't going. Yeah, I wasn't going to be. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's not as if I'm a scrawny guy, so they wanted yeah. to use me for some strength, and it's like I can be there for strength. Cool, yeah. use me for that. I don't want to utilize myself for a puzzle at that point completely. Right. But, then no, that? but then nobody else really wanted to volunteer for puzzle, so it's like, mm -hmm. well, I can do puzzle, and it was matching, and I just needed to take mm -hmm. my time, and we had all the puzzle pieces. I mean, we I mean, we were down big time going into that first one, so. Mm -hmm. And I had to just keep like getting everybody like stay, stick with it. You guys are doing great. Like I realized if I keep pumping the tribe up, that would also help me with that uh, that part as well. Because if I'm not being like the Debbie Downer or anything like yeah. that, if I'm the one that's like pepping people up, they're going to see that. They're going to hear that. They're going to want to try and keep me around. Hopefully, didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> the, huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, if it was me, I would want the guy cheering me on, not the guy being like, no, what are you doing? Exactly, yeah. It's like so to hear a guy like that. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, because, I mean, if you are the one to, like, be beating on other people during the yeah. challenge, like, your own tribe mates, they're not going to want to keep you. Right. They're going to want somebody positive, some a positive force. You would think. Yeah, yeah you would hope anyway, yeah. <laughs> okay, gosh. Um... What have we not talked about? Um, the the basic challenges. I mean, I got to see. I mean, I was, I was happy I got to win my one round of uh, Idle Hands. Um, yeah, that's gonna be in a secret scene. Uh, like before the season starts, I'm gonna put that out because nice. there's too many challenges for day one. So oh, before yeah. the season starts, yeah. that that'll go out. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, especially since each one is just like, well, you win an advantage for the next challenge. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. Blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. It's like cool, um, but yeah, I mean, oh my gosh! And then, which it was, yeah. So winning, winning that second immunity, we got that reward also, and the coffee, the coffee reward. <laughs> that was probably the most hilarious reward. Um, one just coffee, nothing. Else. I mean, it was just coffee. But you know what? We took full on advantage of that. Did, yeah. And I mean, I was actually trying to pump people up. It's like, guys, even if you don't drink coffee, have the sugar. Have a little bit of, I mean, even the have creamer. a flavored creamer for all yeah. I care. Because that little bit of like the fat and the creamer, or the sugar is going to be what's going to keep you going until you get the next stuff. Because mm -hmm. I mean, we hadn't had rice at that point or anything. Because mm -hmm. I mean, um, I'm trying to remember who gave us crap. They're like, we didn't make overnight rice. And it's like, well, for one, it's like, <laughs> we all don't all know how to make overnight rice. And it's like, did it really get soft enough? Yeah, I have no idea. So I mean, I mean, maybe overnight it would have, but I mean, we wanted something that night. Like, yeah, we were exhausted because it, it had been so hot that first day. I was feeling it. Like I needed to take some breaks, otherwise I was going to go down like like Larry did. Mm -hmm. Um, because I was really feeling a little bit lightheaded myself. Um, I had to make sure that I was really staying hydrated because I I've had that happen before and I've gone down um from heat exhaustion and it's not a fun time mm -hmm. um i mean that was just that i have to say that was a scary moment that first night when larry larry went down i mean yeah. um did he pass out he, he, no he never passed he, out officially like he might <laughs> exactly he was right on that cusp um so yeah that's where that was interesting um because we really i think we really bonded after as a tribe after that we had some real we i mean we literally named the uh the immunity idol uh slary at that yes. at that point um because we're like we we got to keep larry in our in our mind at this point because this is like we're doing this for larry because larry had been so excited to be there yeah larry uh, will be back i think yeah <laughs> oh yeah that was, yeah, I mean, that, that was, I mean, it was definitely an experience and a half. I mean, I cannot wait to do another live game. Um, Are you applying for other ones for next year? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, I may be doing one, um, have one already planned out, but of course I can't say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we'll look forward to that then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, you do what you can. I mean, I, I kept my shot in the dark. I mean, I didn't play that. Right. Um, but again, 
I still had a very low percentage of actually pulling the right one. Granted, it was right on top. I don't know if I would have actually. <laughs> I don't know if I would have actually grabbed the top one or not. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah. yeah no, knowing what you know now, would you think you would have done it anyway? Shot in the dark. No, because I need in order for me to get farther in the game. I needed the I needed that three two one plan to happen, and yeah, and it would have it would have well, well, but wait, because if you had, then it would have actually been one of them would have gone. Well, I don't forget. Um, I still don't understand why he played it then at that tribal, but Andy played his extra vote at that tribal when I went. Had another extra vote that he got to use. Yeah. Because so I mean if you but if you ins- oh Mike would have gone home no sorry because you wouldn't have got to vote <laughs> exactly so um, but you Steph so unless Steph actually voted with me Mike goes home um, if I play, well sorry if I play my shot in the dark and get it correctly one of them goes home yeah who but, and it's whoever you and Steph decide it, well it's only whoever Steph decides pretty well. Because don't forget, because I wouldn't have had my vote on the revote, uh, because I would have sacrificed my vote. Oh shit! In the shot in the dark. Um, I think. But Steph then, but then right. Steph and I still would have been down three to two the next time that we went back to tribal, and we, unless we had gotten them to cause some chaos, yeah. Which those four had were a tight four, so. Yeah, because I mean, it was funny though that even had that it, had it tied either way. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, it was a, had Steph not found the idol, Steph was going home. Yes, for sure. Because <laughs> Andy played both of his votes on Steph. He really wanted her out. Uh, yeah. She was, you know, talking too much, like you said. Exactly. You played so it right. I, yeah, I was right. <laughs> I mean, I knew it's like if Steph talks too much. They're going to want to take Steph out. Mm-hmm. I need to then sit back and make them think, hey, maybe John actually has something else. And Andy had gotten the reward from, or the the, uh, the extra vote from the reward. So maybe John had gotten something in their reward. Oh. But. Can you believe, nobody fucking knew that Andy got that from the fruit reward. He's yeah. holding the, I can't even, I can't. Granted, I mean that their whole original tribe was weird in my mind. Um because I mean they I mean they had uh I mean they took Sam out because Sam had connections and Sam had yeah. it's it's like it's like that's why you took Sam out? Okay. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> I mean I didn't I still actually don't even know who Sam voted for in the in the minority. Um Dan. Who's Dan? So I mean it's interesting that Dan And I still make fun of Dan or tease Dan uh, that he was the jeans guy. Uh, (laughs) And I mean, Dan was actually somebody that I knew uh, going into the game. Really? Um, We had met like once at like um, an org gathering, Ah. but like it was one night that we'd met. It's not like we had like had like extensive conversations or anything like that together. But it was actually funny because I had applied for a game that he hosts. Yeah. And he was about to turn me down. Oh, no. <laughs> or I was about to be an alternate, I should say. Um, and I found that out literally um, the day after I got voted out. Um, oh, my God. So, yeah. I just remember Dan did have a confessional night one where he says, you know, he's talking about how he, how he doesn't know anybody, but he does know John from the other tribe, so that would be interesting in a swap scenario, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And then he didn't want anything to do, like, he, yeah. he wouldn't fight for me or anything like that. Like, he was like, Dan, you want me here? Keep he's me. A it's like, John. He was a passenger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, there's some great bonds to, like, getting to, like, meet everybody and have those really tight connections to talk with everybody afterwards too Mm -hmm. um a bunch of you came and and hung out that's a a big difference from the last one as well like you all really liked each other and got along and it was like positive we all realized realized it was a game that's the thing nobody took it personally 
Yes. That at the end of the day, and that's why we were all Larry, even though Larry was embarrassed to come back after being medevaced, it's like, dude, you went down because of heat exhaustion. Yeah. You didn't go down like you didn't quit because you had like a stub toe or anything. Right. You literally were about to pass the fuck out. Mm-hmm. It's like that's that's a fucking champion way to go. Yeah. You go until your body quits. Like that's that's kudos to you on that. So I mean. And then, I mean, Caitlin, Caitlin ended up doing some stuff that weekend and Caitlin almost didn't come back, but I was glad Caitlin did. Um, Because, I mean, it wouldn't have been the same. (laughs) And I mean, even Kaya, who literally was the last minute replacement, uh, Kaya and I ended up being buddies the rest of the way because after, after like we were booted because literally we were the drunks that (laughs) (laughs) came back. We're like, okay, who? As soon as people were out, we're like, okay, what do you want to drink? <laughs> <laughs> we're just handing them stuff, um, and we're we're there to just be the fun time, pretty much, uh, and they just tease, yeah, and just tease everybody on the out, like as we're just sitting there with our drinks in hands, and they're sitting there doing tribal. Yeah. Um, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what else can you do at that point? Mm-hmm. But no, I mean, it was this was a one of a one of a kind experience. I mean, I literally drove up from school on a Thursday night. Um and it took it took a good five hours almost for me to drive up there. That's a long where are you in Southern Mass? Uh Western Mass. Western Western Mass. Mass. Uh by Springfield. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, Okay. And I mean I hit major traffic. I ended I ended up stopping at one point just because it had been a long day at school. My eyes were getting heavy at one point. I pulled over for like 20 minutes, shut the car off. And I was like, I just need to take a quick cat nap, recharge, and then go the rest of the way. Um, then, of course, I hit some major traffic. And that was wonderful to deal with, too. So, um, But then I had to just restart and just like be ready to go Friday morning. It's like I have no idea what I'm going to do. Yeah. It's And then it just started. It just, and it just like... Had I kept, I think, the same bubbly energy that I was going up the hill, <laughs> maybe things would have been a little bit different throughout the game. But no, no. Yeah, maybe. I maybe. think I, we have to say I have the same swap situation come up. Um, I mean, it's it's try it's tough trying to play the coulda woulda shoulda game mm-hmm. when you re- when realize really there's almost nothing I could have done. I mean, I played played what I needed to do and got as far as I could without like pulling any douchery with so which that's never like the type of game that I play. So um I'm not the one to be like villain of the season or anything like that. I'm the one that's gonna be like, okay, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this, gang, and we're gonna be there at the end. And we're gonna laugh about it while we're there. So in which, oh, that was still the situation that I felt so bad for was Caitlin because Justin made fire, I made rice. Caitlin goes for a confessional once the rice is ready. And by the time she comes back, we're told, okay, guys, go to your, go to your next challenge. So she didn't even get a scoop. She had one bite of rice. She literally <laughs> left her scoop of rice sitting there. And Matt ate it when they got back. (laughs) And yeah, because then we went over to the other side, in which there's no rice over there. But granted, she but she also was gone before we actually even got back to the camp. So yeah, yeah, that didn't even come into play completely. But had we gone back there, she would have had nothing. Mm -hmm. She literally would have been on one bite of rice for two days Mm -hmm. and like three cups of coffee. (laughs) <laughs> that's true too um <laughs> no. i mean that was my biggest fear actually was with the coffee it's like if i have too much coffee i'm gonna have the shits yeah it's like and we have the porta potty here yeah that, not pretty <laughs> it's like if you are the one to stink up that porta potty people are gonna know <laughs> and they're definitely gonna hold that against you yeah <laughs> but that was, I mean, that was an interesting thing. And it was interesting too, the way that people utilize the porta potties, not just for the bathroom, but I, I use that to be the place that I officially checked my note completely. Yeah. 
That's um, what I needed too, yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, I have privacy completely here. I need to somehow get this whole entire note into my pocket. Mm -hmm. And I did. And nobody noticed that I had the, that in my pocket, which was nice. Because mm -hmm. um, it was just a piece of paper. So it's not like it bulged. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I mean, everybody was checking the porta potties for idols and stuff. <laughs> the ones yeah. who, who had watched the other season were, yeah, for sure. I mean, everybody, I mean, everybody was like, it can be anywhere. But I mean, I knew that I had had that one from the get go. So it's like, okay, probably nothing else at camp right now. So that's why I didn't even bother really looking at camp. Yeah. So. I, did, I wasn't spending time looking for any advantages because, well, I already had the one, so. Mm -hmm. um, nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I was looking around once I expunged the first idol, uh -huh. but I thought, maybe, well, maybe something's hidden at their camp. Maybe something's hidden somewhere. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was once we, I was out, I was looking underneath the table, like the giant spools that were just sitting there mm -hmm. as I was already out of the challenge because it's like, well, maybe it's yeah. around here somewhere yeah but no it wasn't at the challenge <laughs> but no because i think that might have been my only other saving grace is finding that idol um and it was interesting the dynamics of the two camp sites also because mm -hmm. i mean we had a lot a lot more of you had places to go have conversations we had places like to go have conversations gray. but we literally like made it like a warm welcoming environment of a green camp the green camp yeah yeah, okay, yeah it was yeah i mean we literally we set up perches around what we hoped would be our campfire um <laughs> it was eventually <laughs> yeah exactly i mean we we set up markers along the the trail um so that way we would like know where our stuff was or yeah. where the entrance to the path was uh once like it got dark which actually helped out that helped out big time because mm. there was a lot of big divots and yeah. Um, one thing that I definitely did not want to have be a hindrance to me was I'd previously broken my leg and um it was actually through tripping on a divot in on black ice. So I mean I always I always yeah, I always have that like in the back of my mind. It's like I can't do that again. I trip. Um it's like I don't want to break that leg again. Yeah. You know, I've got rod and pins in my leg. But oh, is that did you make a comment about that? Did you like offhandedly, like jokingly say your broken leg, blah blah blah, or something? I actually have a broken leg. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I can show, I can literally can show people, Holy like, shit. and you can literally feel the rod in my leg. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, um, I mean, the funny story was I broke it on my way into bar trivia. Um, <laughs> no i know this story <laughs> yeah, and then i proceeded to go into trivia oh and stayed God. with a fucking broken leg and you won, with a broken right? leg yep you win trivia I, I think i either won or came in second okay <laughs> um but i didn't go to the doctors until the next morning jesus and your wife was pissed right oh yes thoroughly, <laughs> thoroughly. oh my god um, yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i mean that's what i do <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay oh. i mean i i wish i hadn't been as nervous going in that's my one regret because i love to just bring the humor in whatever situation i'm in mm -hmm. i mean and you got to hear it on my way out pretty much uh my closing line for oh my much. god <laughs> You got me to laugh at a dick joke, which is like unheard of, John. Yeah. Go ahead, say it. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to get fucked, I would have brought a condom. <laughs> Just like I got, I got swap fucked, but I didn't bring a condom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and literally, like that came just completely off the cuff, like. <laughs> I was so tired and so miserable at that point. And literally, I was the only person that didn't get anything to eat after being voted out. Everybody oh, else. Because no. <laughs> you think about it, all, all the cameras went back to the camps. Yep. I was left there, sitting in the dark. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> all the food had been packed up at that point. Because even the next night when Mike got voted out, they had saved a couple pieces of pizza or had a pe couple pieces <laughs> left over. <laughs> and 
so yeah so mike was able to have that but i'm like okay um, bye, bye, everybody. What did you do that night? Um, I ended up so I had a Thursday night. I had gotten a hotel, um, and so I was like, no, I hop, went right back on my Hopper app, found the same hotel, got another two nights because it's like I'm not going home. It's a five yeah. hour drive. If I'm going home, I'm just gonna go home. Cool. And one, I wasn't driving home that night. Yeah. Um, and I, was, I stopped at McDonald's and. <laughs> It was the best fucking McDonald's. <laughs> Is it the I'd one in Water- Waterville? Yep. Yeah. And I mean, I can easily see almost anybody from our, from this season coming back for a future season, which yes. that's tough to see. Mm-hmm. I mean, heck, even Kaya. I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're all saying, like, Kaya, if you just like knew anything about Survivor or maybe told the actual stuff that was going to happen. Mm-hmm. like you weren't going to be able to bring your cigarettes yeah because <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's really i i mean the the point that i got to have the most fun was with uh my parchments like i wrote messages like on almost all my parchments <laughs> like i i wrote enjoy your cigs on yeah. <laughs> yeah. then for when caitlin went i was like thanks for choosing me mike yeah <laughs> and he, he was, even mike he was so at that. pissed he was so pissed though I mean, literally, I had nothing to go off of. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, so, of course, that's why Mike wanted me out. Yeah, the second time, especially over Steph. Yes. Um, uh, that was brutal. But to, see, to, like, see all that. But it was good, so good to see, like, that it was a fresh game and that nobody was letting any previous connections rule or hinder games. Yeah, there was no bad blood from previous games. There was no anything like that. So yeah. it was it was good to see. I was happy about the, about all that. Yeah. All right, John. Yes. I guess we've talked through everything. Yes. <laughs> oh, and it's been oh, it's been a blast. We're reminiscing about everything too. Yeah, I can't wait for the episodes to come out so you guys can really like relive it and see yeah. the funny moments and yeah you know, your great moments and uh, people making fun of you. <laughs> oh, true. And, and I, I tell everybody, it's like, look, they're going to make fun of me for, for my snoring. Yes. Um, and it's like, I have some key moments early on in the game, which is really cool. Yeah. That I actually got to be front runner right for the very first challenge. Um, right from before the, the first challenge, actually finding the idol even. Mm-hmm. Um, that was, yeah. Yeah. It'll be that really was amazing. Fun. So I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to me for over an hour. Yeah. Well, thank you for having. Yes. Oh, well, you'll have yourself a wonderful night. You too. And I hope we, we get to see you on a future game, even if it's not Surviving Maine, All Stars. Uh, it'll be something else, I'm sure. Well, I mean, I doubt I'd make you for All Stars, but if there's the second chances, you know I'll be back. <laughs> I'd love to be back, but... All right, John. Great to talk to you. Great talking to you, too. Bye. Bye. All right, that was my interview with John. I had a lot of fun talking to John. Uh, Be sure to continue watching Surviving Maine Season 3. I will be back next week on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and YouTube. Audio only with the player voted out in episode six of surviving Maine, so be sure to check that out i will catch you next week <laughs>